Today I have the pleasure to talk to Mike Woodeke. Mike, you are an HPE fellow. You're also the CTO for HPC and for MCS at HPE. And you're closely involved to COVID-19 research. And there are so many companies doing research right now for COVID-19 cure. It's probably the most important questions that's asked globally today. This is, when do we have a vaccine? And this is not the question we're going to answer right now. But I would like to understand what is the role of technology in accelerating this type of research? So HPC technology has been used for many years to speed scientific research. You know, we've been working very much with people over the years doing drug discovery. And so when this uh, pandemic came along, you know, it, it was an obvious question. You know, what can we what can we do to help accelerate both the road to a, a vaccine, but also treatments, because as we all know, you know, roads to vaccines take a long time, but we've got patients today who we you know, urgently want to provide the best care for. And so really what we've been able to think about is how do we take uh, both our traditional high performance computing approaches to drug discovery, you know, taking the ability to, to run, you know, thousands of simulations, um, you know, understanding how, you know, compounds, uh, you know, may be able to be used to sort of inhibit the virus from connecting to cells. So we, we, we have all those techniques, but more importantly, the last few years, I think everyone's aware the impact artificial intelligence has had in how we can also take more of uh, an, a, a different approach to discovery. And so we're actually combining those together to, you know, in this particular environment um, to, to really help scientists accelerate their work, um, both by uh, taking systems we have around the globe, making them easy to access, as well as uh, working with, uh, you know, actually the, the AI side to take um, scientific papers, the literature. So this is the new piece that we can couple together to really accelerate this, the scientific discovery workflow that people are, are struggling with as they, you know, we want to accelerate uh, time to solution in, in such a, a critical area as COVID research, where literally, you know, time to solution can, can help save many lives around the world. You were talking about AI. Why is high performance computing really an integral factor in the mission critical research to combat the, this pandemic? And can you also give some examples of what exactly requires this incredibly large amount of computational capabilities? So what we want to do is, is take our understanding of the, the structure of the virus and then simulate that with, with uh, different compounds that we can use to try and reduce the impact of the, the virus in, in, you know, in, in, and its impact on, on uh, humans. So, so what we're doing is creating models and, and running molecular dynamic uh, model simulations on high performance computing platforms. But the, the challenge is there's you know, thousands to millions of compounds that potentially could be interesting. So, so you, you somehow need to try and refine and prioritize the, the simulations you're doing. Otherwise, it could take a very long time to run, you know, all permutations. So that's really where we, we can combine the AI, where we can look at existing compounds and basically prioritize the chance of, of given compounds are going to have an impact on, on uh, the virus. So we can then prioritize how we, we um, you know, even if you've got the most computing power in the world, there's still a limited throughput to run those simulations. So you really want to find the candidate compounds that have the highest chance of success. And so that's where the combination of AI as well as simulation is a, is a really powerful tool. And you're very closely involved in these type of, of research. Having the expected challenges in mind, what kind of technological and scientific goals have been set to better understand COVID-19? So there's a num number of ways we, we sort of go about tackling this problem. You know, firstly, you know, the ultimate thing is the vaccine. And so what we can do is apply 
the knowledge we have um, at HPE with data scientists to help help um, accelerate that that work on vaccines. You're you're probably aware there's already tri you know human trials underway underway on some of those vaccines, and so by using uh, data science techniques, we can actually improve the efficiency of those trials. But then going back to the the simulation side, there's a, a whole bunch of techniques and, and uh, capabilities and, and tools we're, we're trying to get into the hands of the key scientists to accelerate their discovery. So, you know, a few examples, um, you know, HPE has a, has, a, has a large, you know, patent portfolio. So we've made that patent portfolio available to anyone working on COVID research. So as, uh, one example or highlight is the swarm learning work we're doing in in my team that's uh, basically allowing uh, di different um, medical institutions to share data. So, so you can basically do machine learning training in different institutions, but then combine models without sharing, you know, confidential patient information. So that that's another area where you know we we're, we're providing capability you know we've all, on the ai side we've also worked on you know a tool called uh, farm ml that that you know we've uh, made available to the community and this is how we can prioritize you know the different uh, evaluation of compounds and then another example is i mentioned you know the scientific literature so there are literally tens of thousands of articles on you know sort of related uh topics and so clearly you want to find those few articles that are really going to drive the the science um and so we've provided a an ai system to to basically ingest all those articles and make it very quick for the scientists to ask questions and, and quickly get back the the relevant articles so they can you know understand you know, work going on in, in similar areas. So th those are a few examples of, of, you know, how we're trying to accelerate the capabilities scientists have, because it's really, you know, the scientists who are looking at the core um, workings of the virus, they're the critical resource. So we want all this automation, machine learning, acceleration of, of scientific simulation to just allow the, the, the the human scientists to be most productive in, in the drive towards uh, treatments and ultimately vaccines. It's really great to see, Mike, how you and your team and HPE are really supporting all the research that's done in COVID-19. Thanks a lot for sharing all your valuable experience, your research insights, and we trust that the technology really will speed up finding the cure shortly. And for the audience, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for having me and don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs>